the pirate ride is simply a principle that describes my belief or lack of belief in the thing called free will. This idea that there's agency that we can use to um, make, choose one thing from another um, and that we have that open option to us. And that we, if we could have gone back in time, we could have selected uh, tea rather than coffee, or uh, we could have we could have made a decision anything other than the one we did. I don't believe that that's true, and I can't prove it. But I don't believe that it's true anymore, simply because we are not agents and ends in our own right, but we are simply extensions of the machinations of the universe at large. Um, uh, everything that's going on in the atmosphere and the environment around us and everything that has occurred through time that led up to this very moment are like a domino fall in every direction that's coming that pushes us in one way or another. This, and I think we can demonstrate that by a mental trick if we try to imagine myself rewinding the tape back to any point in time and ask myself, could I have made any, if all, others, if all circumstances were identical, my, my biological construct was identical. My mindset was identical. The circumstances around me were identical. Is there any chance that I could have made a choice anything other than I did? The answer is clearly no, because I would have been in the exact same situation and I did make that choice and I would make it again. Likewise, if I was to take the seat within the brain and body of any other human being at any point in their life, could I have made any different choice for them? No, because again, I would be them in that exact circumstance of suffering under the influence of the universe at that great uh, large expanse. Same thing. <clears throat> There's no circumstance where we could have made anything, any choice different because we'd never operate in a vacuum. We are always extensions and pointy, sharp end to business ends of, 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 the, of, the spear, of the spear that is our life pushing through time. The pirate ride suggests that the choices that we make are, if not determined, at least the consequence of not just our own minds, but the universe around us. We are fast fading lights moving through a brief moment of time, that is uh, the, the time that from our birth to death. And the course that we take is utterly uh, beyond our control at large, although we are for an interesting reason that I haven't quite sussed out, given the sense that uh, we are in control. And I'm suspicious that it's not, it may not even have a necessary function, but might be consciousness, might be an emergent quality. Like a tree seems to get by without being conscious of being a tree. Likewise, biology at large seems to mostly, a lot of the life on earth seems to get by with little or no consciousness. We know now from our studies with AI that uh, sufficient compression yields um, unexpected, in, in most cases, um, emergent qualities. What I'm experiencing here with this consciousness may be such an emergent quality, in which case uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a curious illusion, a fiction of sorts. And once liberated of that, it's quite a freeing thing. It doesn't mean that I, I'm apathetic or that I just sit in my chair all day, quite the contrary. I, I still am active, I still engage, I still, uh, what choice do I have, <laughs> in fact? Um, but I am relieved of the sense of guilt and in some ways responsibility, which is a strange thing to say because it makes it sound like I, I, I would, that, that opens the door to not caring, but that's not the case. But even more strange, I don't feel upset at others for the life that they're living, even those that harm me. For they too are living the, the pirate ride life. Yeah, that's enough of that. <laughs>